Okay, so this is problem 8.1.53, and this is basically a paraphrase of this problem. They actually give you a picture of the graph with these two points and then a, a line segment connecting them. And then they ask you to find the distance between the points and then also the midpoint. Um, so if we're given this point and that point, we want to do those two things. So the first thing that we need to know is to find the distance is to just remember what our distance formula is. And the distance between two points is the square root of x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared. Okay. So if I have these points, negative 3, 2, and then 1, 4, if I list them as x1, y1, and x2, y2, then what I want to do is I just want to plug those pieces into my formula. So the distance here would be equal to the square root of my x2 is 1 minus my x1, which is a negative 3, squared, and then plus y2 is 4 minus y1 is 2. Okay, so this becomes the square root of this 1 minus a negative 3 right there, that's 1 plus 3, so that becomes 4 squared, and then here we have 4 minus 2, so that's 2 squared. Okay, and that is the square root of 16 plus 4, 4 squared 16, 2 squared is 4. So that's the square root of 20. Now the question that was asked um, by the person that asked this was, how did they get the number on the outside of the radical? Um, they were looking at the answer, and the reason is because the square root of 20 here will simplify. So what we want to do is we want to write this as the square root of 4 times 5. And essentially what I'm doing is I'm, I'm writing the square root of 20, and, and I'm separ separating the 20 into whatever perfect squares I can find that would multiply by other numbers. So essentially you can actually do a tree. You can take your 20 and break it down into 4 and 5, and this goes down into 2 and 2 to write it in the prime factored form. And then you notice that you've got 2 squared. That's the same thing as a 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. So that comes out as 2 times the square root of 5. So that's your answer there um, for part A. And then in part B, they ask us for the midpoint of the segment joining these two points. And again, you just have to know your formula. The midpoint is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Okay, so if I stick my numbers in here, <clears throat> basically the average of the x's, I have negative 3 plus, <clears throat> excuse me, negative 3 plus 1 over 2, and then 2 plus 4 over 2. And if we just simplify that, that is negative 2 over 2, and 6 over 2. So that's negative 1, 3. So that point right there, negative 1, 3, would be the midpoint. Okay? And this up here is your distance.